five, six, seven, eight. The Math Machine's Earthquake Simulator is a hands-on activity about the incredible power of logarithmic functions. The task is to design and test a machine which creates scale model earthquakes of any desired magnitude. Software is the function plane plus and a setup file named earthquake. The hardware is the math machine functions plane. We're also using two pieces of wood to represent the fault, some building blocks to represent a building, and a knitting needle to make it happen. The heart of the function plane is a high-tech servo 7975 and it is also possible to build your own function plane, at least for this purpose, uh, directly from that motor. In 1935, Charles Richter established the original Richter scale by defining the magnitude of an earthquake as m equal base 10 logarithm of d. d is the maximum horizontal movement in micrometers at a distance of 100 kilometers from the epicenter. Modern standards for the design of buildings, dams, bridges, and other structures now use a different system based on the maximum acceleration of the ground, but a modified version of the Richter scale is still widely used in reporting the strength of earthquakes. Richter's goal was to measure the strength of any earthquake, big or small. In the function he defined, movement was the independent variable and magnitude was the dependent variable. The simulator, however, needs to accept magnitude as the independent variable and to calculate distance as the dependent variable and that leaves us as with a mathematical task. The larger piece of wood will remain stationary and the smaller piece uh, pressed up against the knitting needle is the one that will move as an earthquake occurs and the buildings will respond or not. The laser dot uh, also gives us an extra indication of how much movement there might be. The Function Plane Plus program uh, begins by asking if we want an analog probe and it, it is an interesting variation on this experiment to use an analog probe. For example, a voltage probe where a 9 volt battery might represent a 9 magnitude earthquake. Uh, for this run, however, we're going to do it with uh, the manual control instead. Uh, we could set up things manually here. Uh, the Function Plane Plus, unlike the basic Function Plane program, uses a sequence of formulas to carry out the various steps and the setup is relatively complicated. Uh, so in this case, instead, we're going to take the easy way out and load the activity file Earthquake, which presets uh, the variables that we want to do this. Uh, a few things that are worth noticing. Uh, one is that we do have the digital output set, so we'll get the laser output. Uh, there is a sequence of five calculations that actually have to be done to see this happen. Uh, but on the other hand, what we really want students to focus on is simply the very first calculation. Uh, the thing that needs to go in this open box is the formula which will actually calculate the movement in micrometers for any given magnitude that we may set with the, magnet with the manual slider up here. Uh, it's not necessary for students to do these other steps unless uh, they want to or the teacher wants them to but uh, very quickly to explain what the other calculations are. If this calculation gives us the horizontal movement in micrometers for dealing with buildings and such, we need to convert that to meters and this calculation is that conversion factor. We're also working with a scale model which uh, in this case we've considered to be a 1 500th size scale model so that whatever the actual movement of the earthquake would be, we want the scale model to move 1 500th as far. And we have to translate that movement into degrees, and this is a way of translating into degrees using the fact that there are 180 degrees um, halfway around a circle and that the radius of the circle we've got is about 0.12 meters. The final formula is one that calculates the signal that actually has to be sent to the servo motor to uh, tell it where to go and this is an, something that the students might do as a totally separate activity. On the other hand, if that's not the focus of this activity, we can simply give it to them. And again, in this case, what is missing from the sim simulation is 
the formula, the solution to Richter's definition of uh, magnitude. We'll put in a formula here, which may or may not be the correct one and run the program and right now we have a zero magnitude earthquake which is actually not zero movement but extremely small uh, magnitude one magnitude two magnitude three magnitude four hope there's a pattern emerging in the numbers below even though there's nothing very dramatic happening magnitude five magnitude six Seven, eight. Other steps in this process can include exploring ex fractional magnitudes as well as negative magnitudes. Other mathematical extensions include recognizing that it's not really computationally efficient to use five separate formulas here and so it's uh, very appropriate to look at ways of combining those functions, perhaps the three to even to one. Students who know LabVIEW programming also have the option of eliminating the formulas entirely and replacing them with sub-VI.